Welcome back, Road to Show episode nine. This is a fun, this is an exciting one. This puts us exactly 10 weeks out from my first ever bodybuilding show, December 2nd, Arlington, Texas, Battle of Texas. We're getting closer and closer to the single digits. That's where it's really gonna start speeding up and flying by. I feel like the last 11 weeks has already flown by. I started this out at like 21 weeks out and now we're already down to 10. I feel like it's just gone like that. So the next 10 is gonna fly by and then in the next like four to five weeks, that's when it's really gonna start sucking. But check-ins. Uh, we did weigh in this morning at 215 flat. Uh, that is the lowest we've weighed in in a very long time. My peak bulk was 245, so we're down 30 pounds since February. But with that, there's been no changes in my meal plan. Meal plan, thank God, is still the same. There are some days where I'm a little hungrier than, than usual, where I'm just like, you know what, I could, I could eat a little extra rice. I, I, I have it and I'm not going to. That would go off a of plan and that would be stupid. But like, like I said last video, Hunger, hunger's not kicking our ass, we're kicking hunger's ass. So uh, when it comes to how I feel physically, I still feel really, really good. Recovery's still amazing. I haven't dropped anything there. Uh, whenever it comes to mentally, I feel really good. There are some times where I'm a little bit more drained and I'm just not fully here. Like I am physically here, but like mentally, I'm just like elsewhere. So that's the only thing about that. Uh, emotionally, I feel really good as well. Uh, like I said, with the series, uh, all about open transparency, honesty. So the only thing I would say is that the mixture of PEDs and learning how my body reacts and how I feel off of them, this is also my first ever prep. I'm not necessarily snappier. I'm just a little bit more on edge. And it's been like that for the last probably one or two weeks and I'm now fully aware of it and I'm catching it, which I feel like is the most important part of being in something like this. And thankfully I am self-aware and I also have Claire. So between the two of us, I'm able to catch these little things a lot quicker than I feel like if I was on my own. So I'm very thankful for Claire. And as prep goes on and we get deeper and deeper and closer and closer into our show, Claire is going to be a key part in throughout this prep. So very thankful and I love her very much. Uh, we're gonna talk about cycle change. So before we were doing MPP test ADEX, uh, now, we have Test, Masteron, Trin, Clin, Arimidex, and that is it. And then the rest are just pills that I'm taking as well as supplements. So those are like the big things for the cycle change. The weeks following all the way up to my show, like this next couple of weeks, uh, things should start happening really fast in terms of like progress throughout my body, seeing things change. The overall fat should just start shedding off between all of that stuff. So. Uh, we're going to see how my body reacts and how we end up feeling and everything like that. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Like I said, not going to say the dosages anymore. Uh, I'm done doing that. I don't mind. I don't care if I say the do dosages. I really don't care. But I just don't want someone to uh, try to replicate it in their own manner based off of my dosages. So I'll tell you guys what I'm running. I'm just not going to say how much anymore. Just know that they are healthy dosages. We're not overdoing it by any means. So we are doing this in the best possible way while keeping my health at my best interest while trying to bring in the best package that we can to possibly, hopefully, uh, win this show. So we got our pre-workout meal right here. Uh, if you saw my other full day of eating video, it's the same thing. But I wanted to say something really quick. So, cause I'm going through prep and I'm now experiencing this for myself. Whenever I do hit the moments of I'm getting hungry or I'm getting edgier or my, my patience is a little bit lessened for whatever reason it may be, I have to sit there and remind myself, you chose to do this. I chose to do this. I chose to put myself through this and go through this. It's not fair for me to take it out on other people just because I'm hungrier or having a bad day or whatever it may be. This was my choice. I chose to do this. So it's just something I have to sit there and remind myself. This is an opportunity that I do get that I'm very thankful for and very blessed for because not a lot of people get the opportunity to do a prep or do a show for whatever reason it may be. And I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of people out there who do want to do a prep, who do want to do a show. And for whatever reason, uh, they just can't do it. I don't know what the reasons may be, but it's just realizing that this is an opportunity that I am getting, that I have been presented with, and I'm very thankful for the opportunity. And like I said, end of the day, it's my choice. So me taking out on other people just because of my choice and my, the circumstances that I'm putting myself through. Nobody's making me do this. It's, it's an unfair thing, so, so guys. But per usual, we're gonna eat this, make my pre-workout, and then we're gonna go to the gym, get a lift in today. So we have legs, we're gonna do that. And then after my workout, I'm gonna show you guys a prep-friendly ice cream. It's everything that I get post-workout made into an ice cream bowl. Claire figured this one out for me, so absolutely love that woman. 
We're gonna down this. I got nothing more to say to you guys. So I'll see you guys in a second. Go grab a snack. I don't think you guys are prepared for what's about to happen post-workout. So I'm gonna show you guys my prep ice cream meal that the best thing I've ever had. If you, if you are in prep, having something like this, absolute game changer. So here's what we're gonna do. I went ahead and froze this, made this last night. It's uh, it's Evogen protein, you can get some with Coach Chew. Evogen protein, and then luckily I have milk in my post-workout because I get cereal. So we're gonna get the creamy out, do the first initial blend, and then finish piecing it all together. I'm gonna walk you guys through the process here with me. If you don't have a Ninja Creamy, I highly recommend getting one. So we're gonna get this. So in here I do 50 grams of protein, 180 grams of milk. I save 60 grams for after you, the initial blend, and you're about to find out why. And that's literally it that it is in here. And it spritz, a little, a little sprinkle of Splenda. We're gonna pop her in here and uh, first blend. <clears throat> All right, she's done. Pop her on out of there. It's um, the first initial look. She's a, a little clumpy, so you need to take a little bit off the top. Oh my God, wow. All right, I'm gonna top it off with the last 60 grams. And you want to always add a little bit liquid after the first blend because it's like icy. You mix in the liquid, makes it nice and creamy. Actually, I have an idea. We're gonna add a little bit of water. We're gonna mix in some of the Rice Krispies into the creamy. So we're gonna add a little bit in here. We'll do a little dash of cinnamon. Put her in for round two. One more time. Normally I do a layer of cereal on the bottom and then the ice cream and then another layer of cereal on top. I went ahead and just put all of it on the bottom. Pop it out. This is what we're working with. So we're gonna put this on top of the crispy, the cereal. Make sure that we get all of it out of here. <clears throat> Clean this up later. We're gonna dig in and show you guys the final product. And then we're gonna get into it. All right, this is our final product. This is what we're working with. It doesn't look that appealing, but we got our ice cream and then underneath we have our Rice Krispies. We mix some Rice Krispies into the actual ice cream with some cinnamon, maybe, you know, mimic graham cracker. Um, it's not as creamy as I wanted it to be, probably because I didn't add enough water, and that's completely on me. It'll melt, it's fine. But look at that. On prep. On prep, this is crazy. Every time I eat it, it's, it's insane. Every time I eat this, I kind of feel guilty. I feel like I am cheating on my diet but I'm not. Absolutely game changer. This is insane. This is one of the craziest things I've ever eaten, especially 10 weeks out. Like, come on. Mm. This is insane. If you make it, let me know. Send me your recipes. I probably can't make a lot of them anyways, but post-workout, prep friendly ice cream. We hit legs, my legs are demolished. So, that's it for this one. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you did not enjoy the video, make sure to leave a comment as well. Let me know why you didn't like the video. But that's it for this one. I'll see you guys next week.